Today we are making lemon bars and this recipe is one my mother got from a friend of hers over 50 years ago and it is the only lemon bar recipe we have used ever since. Now I've eaten a lot of lemon bars in my time and I can tell you these are the best lemon bars. Hi, I'm Leanne from yourhomebasemom.com and I'll admit it, I'm a little bit of a lemon bar snob. They have to have just the right texture, not too gooey and not too dry, and just the right amount of lemon, and not too sweet, but not too tart. And I can honestly say today's lemon bars meet all my criteria. They really are the best lemon bar. Because we have a reduced size family, today we are making small batch lemon bars. But if you need, this recipe is easily doubled or even quadrupled. Let's get started. So we're using a nine by five loaf pan. And to make it easy to remove the lemon bars out of the pan and to stop them from sticking, I like to line my pan with a piece of parchment paper. Now, if you're making a full size batch, you're gonna to wanna to use an eight by eight baking dish and just give it a nice spray with some nonstick baking spray. So the lemon bars start with a short bread crust. And for that, we are going to use a quarter cup or a half of a stick of butter. And I like my butter to be cold. And then we are gonna use a half a cup of all purpose flour and a eighth of a cup or about two tablespoons of powdered sugar. We'll then just take a pastry blender or you can actually use a fork if you want and just cut that butter in with the flour and the sugar until it's nice and crumbly. We have our butter all cut in with our dry ingredients and it's just a nice pebbly um, consistency. You don't want any big chunks of butter. And then we're gonna take it and pour it into our lo lined loaf pan and then just press it down into the bottom of your pan. It's gonna be dry, but that's okay. That butter's all gonna melt as it bakes and it's gonna form a nice shortbread crust. We're gonna pop it into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 15 minutes. So while the shortbread crust is baking, we are going to mix together the lemon filling that's gonna go on top. We're gonna to start with a half a cup of granulated sugar. We have a tablespoon of all purpose flour and an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder. Then just take a fork and mix it together. Next, we're gonna add in one egg. And then we want to use the rind from half of a lemon because we're doing half of a batch. Now, if you have a microplaner, this is the best way to zest your lemon. Um, Little trick if you've got one, it will come slipped in this way. You take it out, flip it around, put it in the other way. And then as you are zesting your lemon, it catches all of the zest right in there for you. So a half of a lemon is gonna probably give you, depending on the size of your lemon, about a half of a teaspoon of lemon zest. And then we're going to use a tablespoon of a lemon juice, which usually a half of a lemon will give you about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna use fresh lemon juice, which is always better than the reconstituted kind for lemon bars. All right, we're just gonna take our fork. We're gonna mix that all together. And this is the lemon filling that will go over the shortbread crust. All right, we've got our shortbread crust out of the oven. We've got our filling and it is pretty runny. And we're gonna pour that right over the top. Kind of spread it around so it covers all of that shortbread crust. We'll put it back into our 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until it starts to turn just golden brown around the edges and that the lemon mixture is set in the middle. While our lemon bars are finishing baking, we are going to make up a lemon glaze that we're gonna drizzle over the top of it. And all you're gonna need is a half of a cup of powdered sugar and then that other half of a lemon we had left over, we're gonna juice it. So about another tablespoon of lemon juice. And then you just wanna mix it up so that you have a nice, dr soft, drizzling consistency. If you find that it's too runny, just add a little bit more powdered sugar into it, or if it's not the right consistency, it won't drizzle good enough, add a little bit more lemon juice in. And if you're out of lemon juice, just add a few drops of water in. That'll work great. All right, we have pulled our lemon bars out of the oven. They are nice and golden brown around the edges. And I'm gonna let them cool in the pan for about five minutes or so. And now because I've got that parchment paper in here, we can just gently lift them out of the pan and we are going to add that glaze that we mixed together. So we're just gonna take it and drizzle 
right over the top. So they're still somewhat warm, but that warmth is gonna help that glaze to kind of soak right in to the lemon bar, which makes it so good and lemony. All right, we are ready to cut into our lemon bars and give them a little taste test. Now, depending on how many people you are going to be sharing these with, can depend on how many pieces you cut them into. You can leave them just into four pieces, or if you want, go ahead and cut them into eight. So now for our taste test. Mm. So good. Perfect texture, perfect amount of lemon, the perfect lemon bar. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. You can find the recipe for these lemon bars in the description down below. And be sure to check over here to check out all the other recipes I have here on YouTube. And I hope you agree with me that these are the best lemon bars you've ever had. And of course, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel by clicking down below and turn on that little notification bell so that you'll be notified every time a new video drops here on YouTube.